Right guys, so today is the 1st of January 2018. So everyone's starting their new fitness regime, everyone's getting into it and trying to get into shape. So the first thing you jump for is supplements. So this whole video today is going to be on supplements. As you can see, I'm a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> um, so when you first start your fitness journey, you're going to heavily go for supplements. So on my social media, I've had loads of comments on my pictures which is great, I love receiving comments. Um, I've had a lot saying what supplements you recommend, um, what's the strongest fat burner, what's the ones you take. The thing is you guys, I, I base my results a little bit on supplements, but my results aren't purely just supplement based. Um, the biggest thing you need to do is look at your diet, look at your training, are you training hard enough, is it, are you logging everything? So start, to start from basics, bring it right back, 1st of January, start fresh and look at your training, look at your diet, before you jump into all these supplements, they all look good, they all look pretty, but at the same time, you need to know the basics, and you need to not get carried away by marketing or getting caught up in the hype really. So, everyone's gonna start fresh, 1st of January, so you wanna get onto your fitness program and get going, but you first of all, you wanna take, take a step back, and before jumping into all this, I'm going to take you through what I recommend in my opinion, so what's worked for me and hopefully the comments I've got um, I'm going to try and address today as well. Guys, if I haven't covered the comments that you've asked, just drop me another message and I'll happily go for it in more depth. So let's start it nice and easy. So before we jump into all this, remember you guys, these are supplements and the reason I say that is that they're not requirements. So you're not required to take any of this. So. This is just that little step up. So you've got your diet in place, you're sleeping good, you're training hard, then introduce supplements. Get everything right before you jump into all of this. But I'm gonna take through what I've worked, what I found that's worked, and hopefully you might take something away from this, or you might think, Do you know what, I knew all this. But this is people that are starting fresh, or potentially they've hit a rut, and they just wanna learn a little bit more about supplements. So the basics, I would say, is your protein powder. So there's loads out there now, there's actually loads. So I will stick with gold standard, mainly because it tastes very really nice. You've got to get a protein powder that tastes nice. If you've got one that you're like, every time you drink it, you're not going to wake up and go, I want to drink that protein powder. I like the taste of gold standard. It's a good protein, to be fair. 24 grams of scoop, uh, 5 grams of BCAs, and 4 grams of glutamine. Perfect. And main time I take this after training, I'm not going to go into depth of protein powders. I'm just going to say they, they do help, um, but they don't do it for you. Um, so I take one after training, uh, one in the morning, and one sometimes at night. The reason I said one after training, because that to me is the crucial time, I take, I always make sure I have one after training. So in the morning, if I'm having a high protein breakfast, I won't jump to a protein shake. If I haven't got time, I might have a protein shake. But don't overcomplicate it and include too many shakes for the day. Try and get it so you're only having a couple of these. Don't base your whole diet. Your protein should basically come from your diet. So these should be your little top ups, not this is this is my main requirement. So it also you can get flapjacks. So I take protein flapjacks, I take protein bars, but again, I only have maybe one, two a day. Only I find that I bloat quite a lot from protein bars. So they're full of fiber. I'm not gonna go again too much in depth, but I bloat quite a lot. Um, I like my protein bars, they do taste really nice. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with any of these products. I wish I was. Um, but this is just my opinion and what's worked for me um, during my transformation. So that's protein covered. Again, I'm going more in depth. You guys, if it hasn't covered those questions you've asked me, drop me a message and I'll happily go for it a bit more. Um, then, as you see, there is quite a lot. So next is BCAs. So BCAs. So I've got loads of different ones I've tried and tested. I like BCAs Amino Grow. I make you itch a little bit, but I. It's weird, but I actually like that feeling. Um, BCAs, I've done, I did loads of research on BCAs, and a lot of people say you don't need them, a lot of people say you do. Um, I'm kind of on the fence, I, I do notice a difference. I notice that I repair a lot faster. Um, I only take them through training mainly. It's only because my diet for the next year um, is gonna be really on point. So I'm gonna try not to spend my money on this too much. So I'm still gonna take it through training. I either have that or water. Um, but yeah, BCAs are great and sometimes you get a really nice flavour and it's better than drinking water or other bad drinks for you. So 
normally I'll jump for this. This is fruit fusion and it actually tastes really nice. So instead of drinking Coke or anything like that, I actually go for just BCAs. So, and it repairs me a lot faster. So I find that I'm ready. And especially after leg sessions, they take a lot out of you. And I find that I don't fully repair, but with this, I do repair. So today, we're only covering supplements. I'm gonna do other videos on diet and training tips, and I'm gonna do some more videos in the new year. So hopefully I'm gonna keep you up to date. But I'm not gonna go off, off track today. I'm gonna keep it purely supplement based. So next is pre-workouts. So I'm a big fan of pre-workouts, but I shouldn't be, because they are, they're not, if you look at the mornings, they're not, they're not great for you. But at the same time, I'm gonna limit how many I take in the new year, mainly because you don't want, so if you're leaving for the gym, you don't want to think, I need pre-workout. At the moment, I can't say that because I am, and everyone that knows me and follows me, they know I take pre-workouts a lot, so I can't be a hypocrite. <laughs> so, pre-workouts are great, but again, they've, they've got some really strong ones here that I recommend. And again, don't think the more scoops you take, the stronger the pre-workout, because I've had an incident where someone thought it was funny to put more scoops in than what I thought, and I drank it, and I was close to, I was, my vision was shot, I, I couldn't, I didn't know what I was doing, so uh, I hate that guy for doing that. But it's the point is, more is not always better. So pre-workouts, don't think, well, I've got a really good, I've got a good workout on one scoop. Imagine four scoops. It doesn't work like that. So it keep your tolerance down and cycle pre-workouts as well. So if you can, come on and off them. So in the new year, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one month on them. And that's still that's a, that's a long time for pre-workout because you don't want to get addicted to them and they lose their effectiveness. So when they start to lose their effect in it, it just means that you pretty much abuse that product or you've had caffeine all throughout the day. So what I find, if I'm having energy drinks and stuff like that throughout the day, they're not as potent, which again, my new goal in the new year is stop energy drinks, I'm only gonna drink water. So with all these supplements, I recommend drinking plenty of water. You should be drinking a lot of water anyway. Two to three liters a day um, is a good point. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to keep this with me at all times for the day so I can get my water in. But pre going back to pre-workouts, so this is the curse. Um, great pre-workout, I'm only holding the curse for some reason. Um, I've got loads. Neocore, so I'm taking my tolerance down on every pre-workout I take. So I'm going down to one scoop and I'm going to cycle them in the new year. So I'm not going to live off of them because it's not good, it's not healthy. Um, Frenzy, I would say, is my strongest. So just because when I take it, it kind of gives you that, wow, I want to train, I want to work out. But again, I want that to be, I want to come off that just so I can get that naturally, through food, through diet. Um, I don't want to keep taking this thinking, because this does at night keep me up, Some, most of these keep me up at night as well. So that's a bad side of pre-workouts, they do keep you up. So take them late at night, you're not going to sleep. Um, and then you don't want to start taking sleeping tablet. you go down an awful route. Um, so pre-workouts, great. Frenzy being top, that's a good pre-workout. And then you've got the curse, a good one. Um, my newest one that I'm gonna be trying soon is Rush. So I'm gonna give that a go and I'll give you my feedback on my Instagram and you'll see it, hopefully I'll do a video on that as well. So well, pre-workouts, my overall opinion is they're good, don't abuse them. Keep your tolerance low, don't start going up into high dosages. Um, Again, just cycle them. Next, fat strippers. So the main comments I got on my channel was, what fat strippers did you get to, because I was, I was quite chunky, and I cut down quite a bit, and the biggest thing for that is diet. So these fat pills, grenades, really good, but they won't work on their own. They work in conjunction with a good diet and hard training, and you need sleep, you need to recover. You, don't, you can't just take these and these are a magic cure. These work in conjunction with your hard work and just consistency. It, it's all going to take time. You're not just going to overnight. None of this works overnight. So it's not a quick fix. It looks good, but it's not a quick fix. So in my opinion, I would say if you learned something from this video, it's good because my intention in the new year is to inspire people. I want people to see uh, products for what they are. And I'm not saying they don't work because they obviously do, but they work in conjunction with hard training. So with the clients that I help, I find that as a personal trainer, people, they still get really good results. Just hard work and diet, they don't need to use loads of supplements. There is a lot here, and don't get me wrong, I don't use these all at the same time. Um, 
So we've obviously covered protein powders. So again, use it sparingly. Um, don't base your whole diet around this. Great after training though. Um, BCAs, again, do your research. If you don't find, you find that they're not doing what you want, come off them. Try and narrow everything you do. Go on everything. Say you find the results from them and take it from there. Pre-workouts, be very careful. Just don't get addicted to them. Don't think, oh right, I'm gonna start taking two scoops to go to the cinema. I'm gonna take a scoop to go. Don't, just keep it to training and cycle them. But they are, they are good. So I've even got ones when I'm not doing pre-workouts. I've got high volume and, where are you? Pump HD. So non-caffeinated products and that's just to take my tolerance down. So that I find helps when I'm trying to come off pre-workout because it is hard when you've got used to it or you've taken your tolerance up too high. Um, final one, so we've covered all this. The final one is, again, this is just a little tipping point, shall I say, is ZMA, you've probably seen that everywhere. So if you're new to it, this is what you take at night. So just before you go to bed, take ZMA. It's only for this one, it's only two tablets. So it, it gives you a deeper sleep, but a lot of people, I don't know if it's just because I've slow down pre-workouts and getting a better night's sleep anyway. You want a good night's sleep, so I'd say that's like your foundation to get sleep, training, and supplements all on point. So, ZMA, take it at night, and that is, that's everything covered. So with all these products, drink plenty of water, and take them sparingly, don't, and try and error everything. So, if a product doesn't work for you, give it time though, give a product time to work, because it's not, like I said, it's not gonna work overnight. So give these products time, and don't base your results on supplementation. Base your results on hard work. Are you pushing yourself in the gym? Is your diet on point? Look, assess your diet. Maybe take a step back from training. Maybe mix it up a little bit. Mix. What I say to clients is mix it up every week. So um, some of my clients, they're not getting results, so I might change their training. So I might say, look, up your reps. Go to 15 reps, go to 20 reps. And then next week, go back down to your eight, go for your power again. Mix it up, make it fun. So it's a new year, start fresh. Um, if you've got any questions, guys, hopefully this has covered the questions that you guys have asked me on my social media. If it hasn't, um, I hope it has, but if it hasn't, drop me a message and say, Mike, can I have a bit more insight into any of these products? And again, I'm not affiliated by any of them. I'll help you out and I'll give my honest verdict because this year, I, my goal is to help people, to inspire people and get a better physique myself because I'm not where I want to be. And hopefully for all these videos, I'm going to hopefully change my physique and keep you guys posted on what I'm doing as well. Thank you guys and good luck in 2018.